All right, everybody. Welcome back to Alan Wake 2. It has been, God, well over three weeks for me since I have played this game. So hopefully I remember what the hell's going on. I did look back a little bit at my previous uh, episodes and uh, just kind of get a clue as to what was going on. I do remember parts of it. I know I left off. Um, I was playing as Saga. We were at some different part of town, um, going to tra a trailer, I think, is where we were heading towards. Um, I don't remember. Oh, it was because Saga, we got a new page from Alan that he was hiding because he knew that the cult or the cultists had the clicker. Um, and so I guess we're heading there as Saga to try to retrieve the clicker. Um, because the page referred to Saga um, encountering one of the cultists who had the clicker at a, tra a trailer. And then we apparently start to chase him. So I guess we'll see what happens from there. Um, beyond that... Um, I know you probably don't really care, but I had a fantastic time on my three-week vacation. I was overseas. I went to uh, Vietnam, Singapore, and Thailand uh, with my husband, so that was a lot of fun. Had a blast. The uh, jet lag coming back has been brutal. Um, I've been struggling ridiculously hard. Um, it's been, God, I think four or five days now since we've been back, and it still hit me pretty hard. I get through the day for the most part, but then when it gets to be about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I, like, really struggle. So hopefully that'll go away at some point soon. Um, and, uh, yeah, anyway, let's hop in and continue this game since I freaking love this game so much. We're going to be terrible, and I'm probably going to die a few times here and there because I haven't played any games in well over three weeks. Right, we were in this place. Uh, Ati and the Jampers. Wait, I didn't see this before. Hmm, I don't know these people. Probably should know them, but I don't know them. Can we get into here? Ooh. No. Ah, okay, this is where I can switch realities to play as Alan again. Uh, yeah, that's how you do that. Jarvison Vene. Boat storage and repair. Can I talk to you already? Can I talk to you? I can't talk to you. Okay. Um, where was I supposed to be going again? Don't remember. To some trailer. Uh, there's something else in here that's a point of interest. that I have no idea what it is. Intriguing. World. Okay, so I'm supposed to be going in heat to over here. Is there something on the outside of the building that's in a point of interest that I'm just unaware of? Oh, you Water is you definitely quaint. Around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Huh? Yeah. Fresh fish. How's it going? Pretty good. What about you? Ooh, what's this? I bet they have good fish here. Probably. Oh.
Okay, so I need a key to get in there. <gasps> Another rubber duck! Hello, duck. that sound was but it didn't sound good okay take it I can't get in there yet oh wait what's in here the bullets here? No. Okay. Can't get in there. Um, okay. So where exactly am I supposed to go? Right, over to here. Ooh, what's this? Watery Lighthouse, Trailer Park. Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. A trailer park. Ilmo Coskella. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. I need to find him. Tour guide? God, it's been way too long since I played this game. I don't remember who the hell that is. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Oh, we're at the sauna. Okay, I was like, why are there just random people just half naked over here? Hello. Enjoying the sauna? Enjoying the sauna. You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. <laughs> Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. Mm. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. And I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Did you think that'd work? No. You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Probably. I can't really go in the water. Hey, Sava, a sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. <laughs> Either of you talk? No. Hey. Have you heard old Pat's radio show lately? Yeah, I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on reality. <laughs> I don't care to listen to pointless jibber jabber. Not on the radio and not in the sauna. Well, you're not really in the sauna, though. You're, you're outside the sauna. At least I assume you're outside the sauna. Hello? Another duck. 
getting way too excited about the ducks. Hmm. Okay, so there's like nothing to actually do in here. Interesting. Nothing in that. Okay. Whoa, sure is nice out here by the water. Nice and quiet. Yeah, it is. It is pretty quiet. I won't lie. Is there anything on the outside of this that I'm supposed to be doing? No. Hey, Saga! Over here! Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the web page. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. Mm. This keeps happening. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's got them pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. Hmm. Like how there's a random, like, tilt the world thing in the background over here to the right behind these people. Assuming we're supposed to go up there at some point. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Hmm. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Yeah. Weird. So what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. <laughs> Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. Hmm. So, your commercials? They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh... Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. <laughs> really. Fuck off. Uh, I'm just there for the free beer. Yeah. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. Profiling will help me find a way forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else here who can tell me anything? <sighs> you? Perhaps? Nope. Flooding did this? Hmm. Interesting. Wait, can I walk by them? No, this is blocked off, I guess. Until I do profiling. Okay, what do I have in here that I can do? Oh, weapon upgrade. Can I actually do anything? Hmm. Magazine size. Actually, that probably would be useful. Saga had lost count of how many shots she'd fired, but she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. And yet, she'd not run out of ammo, as if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets. She <laughs> fired again. It's interesting that they have, uh, like, little snippets for that kind of stuff when you like put an upgrade point in fluid motion increases reload speed oh yeah i could have done that too 
also didn't have enough, but... Oh, yeah, that could have been good, too. But this is also for the shotgun, and I don't use the shotgun as much. So, yeah. All right, profiling. Oh, let's, oh radio I don't need to do, because stuff I've already listened to. Same with the t uh, TV. All right, profiling. The Koskellas. Urban legend of the trailer. Let's go urban legend. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Some be alarm, brother. Gather the troops. Brother. Yako. The shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They mm. understand it's dangerous. I think they're probably part of the cult, honestly. One of them is. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Hmm. Yeah, that's very interesting. Does he really believe that? Light's laughter and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. Hmm. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Yeah. Okay. Not anything else in here, right? Manuscript pages, the television, radio. Can't upgrade the weapon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. My trailer. Sure. Alrighty. <clears throat> I'd like to see my trailer. Let's go. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, It'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. Nothing? What am I paying them for? <laughs> Guess they're busy. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that uh, thing. Yep. Must be busy at the park. These are off peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. Or they're dead. I kind of want to wait to see if anybody, anybody actually picks up. No? Nothing? Oh, okay. I guess nothing happens. I was hoping something would. There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. Hmm. Yeah. Probably not without having to fight something first. Game just saved. Uh, I'm assuming we can't walk in the water. Yeah, we can a little bit. Update our map. Nope, guess we don't need to. Really? Nothing in here? Okay.
What was that? Uh, creepy. I guess, just in case. Oh, fuck. How do I do the thingy again? Ah. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. So it was turning into taken two in one. Interesting. Is this the cult or the story? Uh, or very intriguing to say the least. Um, what's down here? Another rhyme. Ah. Deer doll. Because we're getting new pieces now. Deer and moose. got the gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods with a worried frown from the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive what is this i don't even know what that symbol is a ring and a necklace Maybe the deer doll goes here? Keep trying. No. Oh. Oops, wrong no. one. That's not right. Think, Saga. Huh? Is it the moose then? Makes oh, sense. Okay. Oh shit. Uh huh. Oh wait. What the frig? Okay, anyway, let's pick up this doll. See what the hell's up here. What the hell? A charm. Oh. 
Oh, oops. Shit. Uh, how do I get to the thing again? Oh, that's also the light. Ah, here we go. Saves you from death, but shatters in the process. Oh. Maximum health. Oh, I have two coffee mug charms. Okay. Increases hand flares duration and area of effect. Shotgun ammo. Oh, I'm like very low on ammo. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh. Let's reload this just in case okay, I can hold 18 now in the clip that's actually pretty damn significant uh, two hand flare yeah let's, let's hold some hand flares okay so I can't go that way I have to go up this way All right, where's the next frickin' jump scare? Hmm. Another locked box. Oh. Found another dead taken over by the radio tower. Looked like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse, too. I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the cult of the tree means business. Interesting. Oh, wait. Another manuscript page? Hey, let's read this shit. Uh, the victim was one of their own, FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had sudden... Uh, suddenly? Interesting. I feel like that's spelled wrong. Suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal and bloody ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page. The first page they had found, not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message. Was a, was a message. Someone knew they were here. What they were doing. Someone playing a game with them. Leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them. Even, uh, even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Hmm. Interesting. Huh? 
Hmm. Do I just go straight for the trailer, or do I go... Oh, I need to hop down here. Wait, is this where I came from? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I could have, like, bypassed all that bullshit, apparently. Or maybe that's a one-way trip down. I can actually get back up. I don't know. We'll find out at some point. Um, let's see. Trailer or building here? Let's go to the building first. Let's provide it some power. Probably a save location is my guess. Um, everybody okay down there? I have a feeling they're not. What is this? I don't like that sound. There's another cult stash. Hey, if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. Ooh, a crossbow? Oh, ho, ho. oops, wrong, bo wrong button. Uh, ah, okay. Okay, one. So it's five, two, seven. Bada bing bada boom! Holy shit, I got a freaking crossbow. Inventory full, what? Excuse me. Uh, inventory? How do I change my inventory again? Do I have to get rid of the shotgun? so much space to actually carry shit. Hmm. Oh wait, I can deposit. Right? Okay, this is a quick save location. Ooh, another page. Manuscript pages. The victim was one of their own, Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Gone missing. Wait, did I already read this? No. Oh. Saga was beginning to oh. see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. Mm. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing. Mm. But involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead, too fast to see. Saga drew her weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look, a local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man, a monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. Hmm. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or mm. as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Mm. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. 
parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalavala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. That was coming fast. Hmm. I didn't realize that you could have this just read to you. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's just quick save. Isn't there? Yeah, shoebox. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, and I can store this stuff. stack is two that's obnoxious uh, okay well let's go grab the crossbow Ooh, and I can take these arrows. Okay. That's convenient. Sweet. I'll be intrigued to give this a try. Let's quick save again really quick. Nothing else in here, I don't believe. Oh, I hear somebody down ahead. My God, is it freaking dark. Probably going the wrong way here, but... Terry's Cuckoo Clocks. Thank you. 
Interesting. Okay. Ooh, another thingy. More of those rhymes. to do here three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play one little deer never came home and two cried all day Doesn't look right. Okay, okay. Okay. What did I get out of this? Huh? Just to follow the deer? Yep, guess I was. Oh shit, okay, it actually takes time to reload. Jesus. Okay, 
one down. Can I actually stun them with the light? Get out of my face, damn it. Hmm. Oh. Okay, here's the deer. I can use this charm on my bracelet. Yeah, what does it actually do? Increases resilience against being staggered or interrupted. Hmm. I like having the more HP though. Um. Oh wait. Oh, need to actually put this on a quick slot. Got it. Anything here? those kids lunch boxes ah uh, I lowered my rifle standing on the car's roof I looked out at the carnage the zombies had almost won but luckily I was here heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be now my town was finally safe thanks to me I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time hopefully the hopefully for the last time Townspeople cautiously emerging from their hiding places surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name and I waved and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life reading books and gardening and fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. Suddenly a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it. I knew you could. Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. Okay. Okay, back down we go, I guess. To fight this other dude. So many bullets.
another lunchbox. Mm -hmm. Hi, hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fanfiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some on some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. This will be a house I'm sure we're going to be visiting at some point. Random pairs of shoes. Ranger cabin. Well, I can't get there yet. But at some point I'll be able to. Ooh, I'm gonna be able to like drive this thing around at some point. It's a very weird area. It gives me shivers when I hear that sound. God. They really did do a, such a great job with, like, the scenery and the atmosphere and just kind of, like, everything about this area. The whole game in general, honestly, but... Okay. Quick save. Another piece of the manuscript. Scratch on the hunt. Oh yeah, here we go. Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, mm. his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy, filling them with his purpose. The clicker, he wanted it, to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. Mm. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fest commence. Hmm. Ominous. Radio. Nothing new for the case board. Uh, oh, I do. Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes there. Uh, automatically does it for you now. You don't have to like take the time to do it. Cool. I like that, honestly. Nice little quality of life update. Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Mm. Which parts are false, uh, which, if any, are real? Hmm. 
Yeah, life and water, yeah. A lot of weird shit going on. More cult stashes. <clears throat> or nursery rhymes. Oh, I've got a bunch of these. Radio tower near watery. Of these, okay. Launch boxes doesn't look right. Launch box under the bottom of the waterfall at Cauldron Lake. Mm-hmm. If shop. Um, let's see. Let's do a manual save really quick. I think... Yeah, I can actually carry this around. I guess I don't need this in my inventory right now. Nor do I need this. Alright. Do I continue is the real question here. Yeah, sure, why not? Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Fresh pot gift shop. Or were they turned into Taken? Oh, fresh pop? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Mm hmm. Yep. Elmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. We won't be going directly for that right this second, because we gotta find all the random shit that's hiding around. And all of this ammo and other shit that we need. one one four Seven. Mm 
Hey. Love when I guess it right. Oh, wait, what'd that say? Do not take what is not yours. <laughs> Too bad, bitch. It's mine now. You left it behind. Fresh pot. It's not a creepy ass sign at all. Creepy ass smiley face. The Espresso Express, the Percolator. This is huge. Um, okay, wait, is this the gift shop right here? It is. first, I guess. Alright, can we get in here then? Locked. Need something to jimmy it open with. Hmm. Okay. A list of maintenance work. Interesting. Hey, the lock is jammed again. I forced it last time with the screwdriver, which has disappeared again. Put shit back when you use it. A screwdriver? Huh. Uh, okay. 627. Coffee World entrance sign defaced. Cleaned with detergent, waxed sign. It should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow. Slow roaster pod is stuck, won't swing. I hit it with some WD 40, seems good for now. 719. Fallen tree near Latte Lagoon. Should probably call the tree guy. Chainsawed and removed, keeping the wood. Several burned out bulbs on percolator replaced and ordered more bulbs. And squeaking on Latte Lagoon Car B. Tightened the bolts less bad now. Percolator control panel jammed. Remove front with screwdriver. Found a penny in there. Okay, so percolator is where the screwdriver is. Stuart. Um, those available, yes. Got it. Okay, so percolator is where I need to go. Oh, we're gonna go to the Expresso Express first. Or I guess down this way. The Huatari Well from 1913. Legends say this is the dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to their watery graves. In the early days of Watari's history, this very well was where Ilmari Huatari hid the bodies of his victims with the help of his brother Yakopi Huatari. Ah. So Ilmari and Yakopi are actually, yeah, they're probably part of the uh, cult. It was only after Ilmari murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light. But was it madness or the spirit of Anaki possessing Ilmari that drove him to murder, like he himself believed? Is there more to this uh, well than meets the eye? Hmm. Yeah, because those are the same names, Ilmari and Yakamo, or whatever the heck it is, of the people who currently own this place. What hides behind the smile? What hides behind the smile? Huh.
can't be opened on this side. All of the Kalawala Knights. Anything actually here? Just this. Oh. Oh, there's numbers. Do the numbers mean anything? So maybe this is something to do later. I saw the creepy face before. Here's the creepy face. Tickets. One for the whole family. Hmm. I don't see... what I could be getting for numbers to unlock that chest. I have a feeling that there's nothing out here, per se. Hmm. Oh, here's the trailer park. Cult stash. Oh, there's a point of interest right there. Did I, I miss something? This time over here. What do we got? 
Mocha is around six. Did you know moose can live up to 25 years? Mocha weighs 820 pounds. Loves to swim. And favorite drink is coffee. One morning during Coffee World's construction, a wounded moose was discovered taking shelter inside the Fresh Pot gift shop. Though limping from a leg injury, the wily moose proved too quick for wildlife rescue. After a long and unsuccessful chase, everyone stopped for a much-needed coffee break, brewing up some of the Coffee World's finest. Before the first cup was poured, the moose appeared, drawn by the delicious aroma. He allowed himself to be treated in exchange for a steaming mug of what is now known as Mocha's Signature Blend. Since then, Mocha the Moose has become a beloved fixture of the coffee world, welcoming guests from across the country as well as personally taste testing each of our roasts to give them the Mocha seal of approval. Interesting. When you ask, Marisetta will speak. Okay. Weird that that was oddly just narrated. Oh wait, point of interest was over here, right? Oh, is it just this? No. Maybe it's the well itself. Mm, okay. Jesus! <laughs> Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Yep, that, that, that uh, scared me. It, uh, it, it got me. <laughs> Is there nothing else here? <laughs> okay, then. Bitch. 
hello. Okay, game saved. Um, where's the screwdriver? Ah. Hey, this should get that gift shop open. Perfect. We. I'm not going to actually go into the gift shop just yet, I don't think. Because I have got to go and get ready for work, unfortunately. So, let's run back. Job saga. Now keep moving. Okay, well, now we're going to try to make it back. Okay, let's go save. And then we'll go in there. In the next episode, that is. I've got to go. Uh, manual save. Overwrite. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this episode. And again, I am thoroughly enjoying this. I can't wait to play more of this. Uh, most likely tomorrow for me. Because um, that'll be my day off. And beyond that, uh, I don't even know what to say. This game is just, I don't know. It's its just like, it's just so good. It's so intriguing. It makes you like try to think about like everything that's going on. And for me, I don't know. I, I'm terrible at figuring out what the heck's going to happen in a game or like where it's going. I am just not that great of a critical thinker. Um. So I'm just enjoying this as it's unfolding. So hopefully you are too. And I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.